and welcome back. Samaria is a region where much of your Bible took place. So what's it like today to be a leader of this ancient yet still blossoming area? We sat down with Mayor Yossi Dagan, head of the Samaria Regional Council, to find out. Take a look. Well, Mayor Dagan, thank you so much for joining us on The Watchman, and thank you for having us in your beautiful home here in Samaria. Thank you very much. We are very appreciate you. We are very appreciate TBN, what uh, you do. We know how it's important to the state of Israel and, of course, to Jewish people in Judea and Samaria. Well, we're honored to be here, Mayor, and there's so much to talk about. First of all, tell us a little bit about Samaria or the Shamron, uh, where you live and where you're the head of the regional council. Shamron is the biggest area in the state of Israel. We have, in my regional council, Shamron, we have 36 Jewish communities and towns and also few uh, towns and big cities, Jewish cities, of course. Uh, we have uh, uh, schools and uh, kindergartens. Ariel University. Of course, university in Ariel. Major university. Imagine a big university. We have uh, uh, agriculture and industrial zones, but first of all, Shomron is a Bible and area. This is our spirit. And from spirit, from Abba, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Jacob, we build our future. We build the future of Israel from this spirit. This is where they lived. Uh, Mary, you mentioned Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the patriarchs, the matriarchs. They lived here in Samaria. This is the biblical heartland. The most of the issues from the Bible happens in Shomron. Abraham, Yitzhak, Jacob, Joseph, yeah. uh, Eliyahu prophecy, the kings of the Israeli, uh, old Israeli kingdom. Joshua. Joshua, of course. Right over our shoulder here, by the way, from where you live. Yes, Joshua was a a uh, first settler, so-called, because after Moshe dead, uh, uh, Joshua take people of Israel from uh, from uh, from nowhere and uh, and uh, go with uh, with them into the uh, crossed into the, the land. Land, yes. And I, I love it when you say Moshe and Eliyahu. This is Moses and Elijah. You're saying in the in the original Hebrew, which we appreciate and love, Mayor. Uh, so look, the Jewish people have a thousands-year-old connection to this area. I, I don't uh, know another nation that uh, they have a, a, a relationship uh, with their homeland like Jewish people with Judea and Samaria area. This area is called Judea and Samaria. What is Judea? Judea is Jewish. How Jewish can to be occupied in Judea? It's ridiculous. Israel is a very narrow country. It's the size of the state of New Jersey. Talk about how Samaria plays a crucial role in Israel's security. Because look, you, in certain viewpoints here in Samaria, you can see Ben Gurion Airport. You can see the Mediterranean Sea. Very narrow. Talk about why Samaria is so important to Israel's security. I think that American citizen cannot uh, uh, understand how, how much Israel is a small country. For, for example, from the Mediterranean to the Jordan Valley, we have 43 miles, 43, with Judea and Samaria. And the mountains of Samaria, because Samaria, Judea and Samaria in the mountains, is the top of the mountains, we have 34 miles, nine miles from Shomron, end of Shomron, to the Mediterranean. So Green Line that uh, uh, Hillary Clinton and, and Obama told about Green Line, Green Line is nine, in, in, in just nine miles. All the state of Israel is ridiculous. It is uh, uh, undefendable. And, and uh, I That would be indefensible borders. Yes. Mayor, you mentioned this boycott effort, the effort to boycott the communities here in Judea and Samaria. Boycott, divest from, sanction Israel, otherwise known as BDS. We even had Airbnb, the popular company where people can kind of rent out their properties and stay there, talking about boycotting Judea and Samaria. Uh, explain why this is so dangerous, the efforts to boycott the goods that are coming out of Judea and Samaria, and how you're fighting back. I think uh, the boycott campaign is a, a so good example uh, to the uh, new war. Because, you know, before a few years, uh, the, Ar the Arabs army try, tried to destroy Israel with tanks and helicopters. Military and, and terror, yes. yeah. And now, after thank to God, they uh, know that uh, our army is uh, strong, stronger, they won't destroy Israel with a new war. The new war of the legitimation, the war of lies. It's war economic warfare, yes. exactly. Of, of, of lies and ignorance. Because, for example, 
our Balkan industrial zone. In Balkan industrial zone, we have 8,000 uh, workers. Half of them is, are Jewish and half of them are Arabs. And they work together and take the same salary. And they, uh, uh, and they uh, do a peaceful coexistence day, af right. day after day. So if uh, this organized really want to help to Arabs or really help to peaceful coexistence in the Middle East, they, they want, they must to help to these uh, uh, industrial zones. Mayor, thank you so much. Thanks for having Thanks us. Really we really appreciate it. Thank you. Up next, we continue our tour of Samaria with a stop at a local winery that's winning world attention and fulfilling Bible prophecy all at once. Stick around.